Hello, my spores, Keisha. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Keisha. So I am back with another video and I'm just gonna tell you guys, I'm just gonna put it out there because God is a good God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is a good God. Yes. So I went on a three days fasting, Esther fasting, Ruth fasting. I'm always using Esther, a three day fasting. <laughs> so I went on a three day fasting. This is the first time I've ever fasted and I'm pretty sure I have breakthrough before. God has been doing such amazing things in my life. And I'm sure he's doing it in your life too. And I will encourage anyone that is down, that is depressed, that don't know what to do, that feels like walls are coming in to crash on, to, to like suffocate you, take a three day fasting, three days three days at least, three day fast and watch how God works. So I went on the three day fasting and my problem is, I have a lot of problems. So I've been, I'm right now on another fasting. I'm not sure how long it's gonna go, possibly 21 days. So far this is my eighth day. And um, so I put a lot before God. I just threw everything to, I just surrender everything and everything that I'm going through in my life. Like I just put it before him. And I have a daughter, her name is Nikita. You guys may have seen her on my videos or previous videos before, or may have known her in person. So she just finished school, COVID is here. So she's been, she's trying to look for a job and she got a job at this place and she only lasts three weeks. They didn't schedule her. I don't know. She said she didn't get scheduled. I'm not sure if they lay her off or fired her. And she didn't say she was never on their schedule again. And so we didn't hear anything from the company. So she started looking around again. She got another job locally. And that job, because where we live, it's predominantly white people. And well, we're used to it because we're used to a diverse area because we're from the city. But here, it's just, there's like 1% of black people or I would say 1% black, 2% Indian that lives where we live. And the rest of them are predominantly white people. And I know that we've been stereotyped. People seen us, think that we're smokers, we do jobs, we do weed. And I guess because of what they see on TV, I don't know. But people don't tend to want to get to know other people they just assume stuff because of our skin color but anyway she stayed there for three weeks she got another job locally where she could it's walking distance so she could walk to work and you know she was the only black person that was working there and I was so proud of her because um, I think and I was proud of my community because I feel like now they're trying to had a little bit of um, diverse being a little bit more diversified so she was working at um i want to say the name because i want to really put them on blast but something is telling me not to so she was working at this store she was a cashier she was cashiering at the store and um i remember she called me and she was telling me that someone was yelling calling her the n-word and she's stupid and calling her names and i asked her so what did the manager said she said oh the manager said that don't pay that person any mind that's just how they are and no i think a manager should have stepped up and have their um their workers back you cannot speak to someone like that but anyways after that happened about a week she's been complaining that people are mean to her um people say like mean stuff to her and just treat her differently um like customers and i guess because they're not they're not comfortable with being served by a black person i guess i i, I just honestly point blank feel like it's because of the color of her skin she they they didn't appreciate the company hiring a black pe a black person and i personally believe that 
they, they have been complained. She got her schedule, so they went into work the following week when the schedule started. So she went into work the following week and the, the day I dropped her off and something said to me, usually I just drop her off and I just head home and something said to me, go in, walk and you know, just pick up some stuff. So I went inside, it's a grocery store to pick up some stuff, to pick up a little bit of stuff. And I was just walking around and then I saw her and she's like, mom, I just got fired. I'm like, three weeks and you got fired? I'm like, no, no. God, we need to do something. We need to do something. And I was so angry. I wanted to, I, I was just so angry because I, I was so angry. Because I know it's people that are complaining and because this is a predominantly white neighbor place everywhere you go there's not even a black person there's no indians if you see indian it's because of their own businesses so it's i was just so angry so mad and i'm like okay i'm i came home and think i, I that was my was i i was just about starting fasting i said you know god i I don't know what you want me to do and he said you know go on three day fasting so I'm like okay so I went on the fasting and I was just praying and just pouring things and just sorry guys so I was just praying and I was just putting forth everything before God I'm like I don't know what kind of spirit is on my child on my children because my older son he just turned 22 and he doesn't care he didn't care to work he doesn't want to work he just just locked himself away and like people are complaining some people think that i abandoned him and i just didn't know what to do so i'm like okay god you need to there's something that's going on because i lost my job one of my child is like really interested in working the other one is just so lazy there's some form of spirit and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to bind all these spirit, the spirit of laziness, the spirit of racism. And I prayed and I just pour myself out on that fasting to God. And I got um, an email from this person that I had applied for a job for a while back and I just never went through with it. And the person that sent me an email that a company in my um, area is hiring. And it kind of scared me, tell you the truth, because I don't want to throw my kids into anything, especially when it comes to racism, because they're not used to it. They're from the city and they're not used to, and they're kids that they have manners, so they wouldn't, they don't know how to stand up for themselves. And I was a little bit scared. So I applied for the job and I told them, I told the company that um, about my other two kids, because they said that they need a lot of people to work. So I told them about them. It wasn't something that is in my forte because it doesn't pay as well as, it's more for like kids their age, not for me. And we went in, all three of us went in for the orientation and by listening to the human resource lady that was speaking to us, she was like, I'm not about abusiveness and she talk about racism and she like anything happened, here's my ha office because she knows that people in this area and the good thing about that too, she's from the city. So she knows about diversity and you know, the same day, I should say, I don't want to just jump past the same. So my daughter got through and so I tell them about my son, we send them the, um, his application and he, ne he has never worked. So I was worried that they wouldn't have taken him. And they did an interview on the phone with him and they said, okay, you can start today. And I know it was God that did that. So we, we all went in and by hearing this lady from the human resource spoke, I'm like, I feel like my children are safe. God is working on their case and I just tell them, you know what, I'm not going to go through with it because it's not my type of job and I don't want to take it and then leave and because they really need people badly. I rather, you know, to know that my children are there or they're going there and I, and I feel like comfortable, just comfortable that they're there and, you know, that they're 
totally against racism, any form of abuse from anyone. They're against, they're like, if anyone try abuse you or make any racial comment. My daughter was telling me that he is depressed and that's why he's acting like that. He was just weird and everyone that comes here, they just didn't understand why he would lock himself away. Like we have parties and he will just lock himself away into his room, he does not get involved, he just doesn't care, he just, he just give up, he just doesn't care and I was, was worried about him. I was so worried about him at times because I was wondering what was this, what was what is he thinking? Is there anything that's going on in his mind that I'm not aware of? It was just weird. It was just weird out and it really bothers me and I'm like, God, I'm just gonna have to put this before God and just pray and I tell you I just poured out myself to God and my son is changed and i'm so so proud of him he's working he gets up he doesn't want to wash his clothes i have to beg him to wash his clothes i have to beg him to shower put it out there beg him to shower this kid get up every day shower pack his lunch wash his clothes he'll come up eat with us he doesn't never, he, he hasn't done that in five years he um, watched a movie with us and we'll sit down and talk, but he has never, it doesn't matter how hard I speak to him and how I talk to him. Yeah, you know, I really talked to him really bad because I was embarrassed of him. And I really talked to him badly, but he has never like disrespect me, never disrespect me. Just seeing him, how he's moving right now, I know God has lifted something up. There was a lazy spirit on him. There was words that was spoken in his life that I was aware of. But at the time, I didn't know that when people call you certain things and, you know, speak certain things of you that it's a seed that they're planting. And I feel like there was a lazy seed that was planted in my child's life. I feel like they spoke stuff over his life and I wasn't, and I know, but... I wasn't spiritually in tune with God to know exactly what was going through so I could rebuke some of this stuff from then. But I'm glad that I am going through what I've been going through in the last nine months because it brought me so much closer to God and I was able to put my children, children before Him and within that three days of fasting, oh man, I cried. I, I feel like it's the greatest breakthrough ever. I am going through some financial stuff. This is priceless to get back my son. It is priceless when you can get back your child. I feel like he was a that son that left and you know, and I feel like he just came home. I am just so grateful for God because he listened to us when we call on him, but he just need for us to drop everything just drop everything that you're doing and just spend time with him and he make things clear as day to you he will make things clear clear as day that's my testimony I'm just, i think i'm just gonna stop here because i couldn't i could go on and on and on but that was my three days breakthrough and when i see that happen i'm like god me and you we're gonna do this much more often so i'm like after that happened i'm like okay you know what i'm going back on a fasting god i'm gonna let you be in control of this i don't know when i'm gonna break it so this is my eight days but there's some great things that's been going on in my life and i can't wait to sh to um share with you guys but i'm just waiting for god to say this is your time here share it this day you know now is the time to share it so i'm just waiting for that so i hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month. See you in my next video.